What's up y'all? Welcome back to the Sunshine Way. I am your lovely, lovely, lovely host Kaya and welcome back to my channel where we become better teachers, better dancers, and live a life of light and let our light shine. So y'all in today's video, before I get into that, y'all let me know in the comments down below what y'all think about me with this hat on. This is my first time, I think, wearing a hat on the camera. In today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all my dance shoe collection. Y'all, y'all see people do shoe collections all the time. I love watching shoe collections to see all the creative different shoes that people have or like the style that they go for or the brand that they go for or um just to see how creative and like unique people can be with their shoe collection and stuff like that but today we're going to be doing a dance shoe haul shoe collection type video um i think number one this video is so important and so dope because one people need to know what type of shoes do I need for dance, right? And for certain type of dances, you use different types of shoes, correct? Um, and then like, you wouldn't wear jazz shoes to hip hop class. You, I mean, you wouldn't really do that, you know what I mean? Like you might go barefooted because you know, you always can't have your feet, but you wouldn't like, wear these types different the wrong type of shoe in the wrong dance class so i thought i would go through my shoe collection um that i typically wear to dance class or that i wear when i film uh dance videos um and yeah so i thought i would go through those i have a few pair of shoes that are my favorite and then i'm going to address two pair of I guess shoes or shoes that you wear when you dance that like it's controversial okay it's controversial so y'all just stay tuned because it's, this is gonna be a good video so my first pair of shoes that I'm going to show y'all is my half soles now half soles are these shoes that I showed in my last video when I was saying like like things that you need for dance and stuff like that um like the starter pack but it's these shoes right here um i love i love these shoes because they're more comfortable than the whole like if you have like jazz shoes and stuff plus you can wear these for contemporary lyrical um you can wear these for several different things right and they're very durable like they don't mess up they get a little rough at the bottom but for the most part like they don't mess up and they feel so comfortable so you just slide them on the front of your feet and then you hook them on the back and then it's just like having a sock on but half of a sock so that you can turn you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so this is my first pair um i got them in a nude color but they have them in different other colors i believe but i just have them in nude because that's what color the dance studio I go to like that's the color they want my second pair is honey I just got these my sister gave them to me um because she were was um going to do um basically like major red dancing for college and stuff um but she's about to graduate from college now so she gave these to me and it's these like um jazz shoes but they're the boots ones the booty ones or boots ones that like cover your ankle um in most colleges and universities and i'm looking in the viewfinder sorry y'all but um most colleges uh universities and um some high schools depending on where you at uh they wear these a lot um they're very durable and they cover your ankle so you know you don't you don't lose your ankles you know what i mean like they help you not lose your ankles so i've only like played around in these once so i'm so excited to like get some wear out of these um and to see what happens in these i plan on coming up with a few major red type style routines so y'all definitely um follow me on instagram and stay on the lookout for that because that is coming soon because i'm excited to have these my next pair is um so the first pair that i went over like i said you can wear those lyrical jazz contemporary modern dance you can wear those um you also can wear ballet flats currently i don't have ballet flats um 
but this summer I am going to be taking a few ballet um, uh, classes and stuff um, in intensives so I will be um, sharing that experience with y'all as far as like doing ballet like officially for the first time um, and so I will be getting some ballet for that so maybe that'll be in my new dance shoe collection when my dance shoe collection expands but it probably don't won't because dance shoes are pretty durable now these are my first pair of jazz shoes um they just black they're from american ballet theater spotlight um they have like the scratchy thing right here so it's easy to fit your foot in i actually got these from uh payless before they went out of business um and i absolutely love these the only thing about these is you have to wear thin socks with them unless you get them a little bit bigger but then they scratch so it's like there's no point of getting ones that's bigger if that makes any sense um i've done a few routines in these and i've also been outside in these like on concrete and stuff so you can see how they're worn down and torn right here but i've had these for at least at least five years i done had these for a minute a minute these are my babies okay these are my babies um and it's very it's the same shoe as these but like i said these are like the booties or like full shoe um whoa y'all my little tree it just fell like it just fell anyways let's let's get let's get back to are going to be more durable as far as like outside and stuff because they're made out of cloth um, instead of like this leather material that kind of tears if you're outside especially if you're on something other than grass um, but yeah and these shoes let's see these shoes are eight these are eight as well and these are a nine so in these half soles I had to get a nine I don't know if it's because of the brand so if you do get the brand Y'all don't even know what the brand of these are. Um, Angelo Luzio. I'm probably butchering that. But if y'all get that brand, y'all might have to get a size up. Um, these are a little big. So you might have to go a half down if you get the theatrical um, brand of these shoes. And then, like I said, these are a little tight. They made made from American Ballet Theater spotlights. Um, so you might have to go a, a half size up. But like I said, these do scratch out. So you don't really have to do that. So that was more of my uh, lyrical, jazz, contemporary, modern style shoes. Now I'm going to go into the shoes that I wear for hip hop. Um, Oh, before I do that, I want to talk about one last shoe that you can wear for like, or what you can dance in when you're dancing contemporary, lyrical, jazz, all that. And that is socks and barefooted. Now, I know, like I said, I had some controversial shoes. And the reason why these are controversial is because um, some studios don't like for you to wear that. They want your toes to be covered and they want to like be protective of your feet. Sometimes when you wear socks, depending on the socks, they can be too slippery. Depending on if there's um, slick wood floor, laminate floor, or you have marley, it can be very slippery to have certain socks on. So, um, but those always work if you do not have shoes. Like, your barefoot in socks they always work and they always will okay they always will now let's get into what shoes i wear for hip-hop so i have two main shoes that i actually wear for hip-hop and then the last shoe that i show y'all is going to be the controversial one um but um what i was gonna say i feel like i say um, um a lot and i don't want to say that a lot because that's aggravating you know what I'm saying? Anyways, so <laughs> right now, these are my favorite to wear to dance class. One, because they're comfortable. And second of all, because like they're very stable. So, you know, you don't be losing everywhere. But these are the Nike Running. Um, okay, I think they're just called Nike Running. 
yeah nike running i don't know what version or any of that that it that they are but they have good grip on the bottom um as well as like like i said they're super comfortable and you can make them as tight as you want them and they were very very affordable i love wearing these to to hip-hop um they don't look the coolest at, in hip-hop class but they still good to wear right they still wear it's still good to wear my next favorite shoes to wear is my vans first of all i love 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 these vans this is my first pair <laughs> of vans and y'all can tell because they kind of worn down in the back but sometimes i wear them in the hip-hop class um it's not that they're comfortable but they're a good shoe to do hip-hop in and i literally wear these sometimes as well um these are my white like high top vans um i wear those and some i just have fun and i just like wearing vans sometimes like especially depending on the class is you feel more swaggy when you feel more swaggy you do better at hip-hop like depending on the clothes you got like sometimes i like wear really baggy clothes and like my favorite pair of sneakers to dance class because when i'm doing hip-hop because it just makes me feel swaggy and when you feel swaggy i feel like your energy your energy level be like higher you know what i'm saying anyways that's neither here or there and then my last but not least these are my controversial and the reason why i say controversial is because first of all i always say i would not be the person to wear these to dancing because it's just like wow like you spend that money to bend them up and if y'all hear what i'm saying y'all probably already know what shoe i'm talking about and that is air force ones so these um are some black air force ones that i got um i have not worn these to hip-hop class but i'm pretty sure for our hip-hop recital performance i will be wearing these because we're wearing like these black and white baseball jerseys and i just think that this would look the best with them so i probably will wear them th th then but to be wearing the dance class all the time is controversial because it's like first of all people don't like their forces to be bent up so why would I go to hip hop class and bend up my forces? Why? So I can pay however much I pay for forces. That's how I can go pay that again. Or so my husband can go pay that again. Like for for what? So I don't wear these to class and that's why it's controversial because some people are just like, uh uh. Like, I'm not gonna go be bending up my good shoes. Um, but I do wear my white ones more than these because for some reason people have a problem with these but um and for some reason i don't know if it's because they high top but these like hurt my feet but then my white ones are super big and i believe they're the same size like hold on okay so these are us five and a half and then my white ones are a six and it's just like how like how do these like and i think it's because i have wide feet like my feet are shorter but like i have wide feet so i think like that's the problem and maybe the six is too wide and then the five and a half is too narrow but then some people say force is scratch so then that's why i got the five and a half but i guess i don't wear them enough because i don't want to mess them up am i the only one who like got good shoes and you don't like to mess them up anyways that's just my opinion but that is all of my dance shoes that is my dance shoe collection um i do also like to dance in other sneakers when it comes to hip-hop um pretty much any sneaker will work that you have um as long as they tie on your feet you can pretty much wear them to a hip-hop class so um all those work but those are the ones that i wear um but yeah, if y'all would like to see any more like dance clothing, uh, dance shoe, dance wear, like hauls or try-ons or collections, if y'all would like to see more of that, like I could definitely do like a leotard collection, I could do um, a tights collection, a sweatpants collection, um, just different shorts collection that I wear. Um, hat, I ain't got no hat collection, I'm just like trying to spit fire in off the top of the head but y'all know what i mean if y'all would like to see more videos like this then please comment down below please give this video a thumbs up because it really supports my channel um yeah and if you like this video 
give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you can be notified every time your girl upload and remember be humble y'all be inspiring be kind y'all and don't forget to shine i'll see y'all on the next one peace bye okay good <laughs>